Please listen very carefully. Everything I am about to say is not true. This lesson may never end. And in case you're not confused enough by now, if no one's watching this episode, it both exists and does not exist at the same time. In this travel park course mini lesson, we will look at the mind-bending, reality-boggling conundrum that is the paradox. So to be clear, the lesson is all about how we're not really doing a lesson because that would imply that we know something about what it is we're talking about. But as you will learn after watching this mini lesson, we really don't know anything at all about anything. Let's go. First off, we have to define what a paradox is. A paradox is a statement that contradicts itself or a situation which seems to defy logic. Take a moment to grok that and the rest of this lesson will not make any more sense, I promise you. Paradoxes have been around seemingly forever. The most famous of them come to us from philosophers like Zeno and Eubulides, but new ones pop up every now and then. Let's look at a few classics. Everything I am about to say is not true. By opening the lesson with this statement, I invoked a classic paradox, the liar's paradox. If someone says, I always lie, are they lying or telling the truth about being the liar? Wait, but how can they be telling the truth about being a liar? But if they are truly lying, this lesson may never end. This is an example of the dichotomy paradox. When you started watching this episode, you knew at some point you'd get to the end. To get to the end, you have to get to the halfway point. But there's a halfway point to your halfway point. So you have to get there first. Before getting to this quarter point, you have to get to the halfway point of that and so on. So while we know this episode will end, the dichotomy paradox states that we can't even get halfway to the end since there is no real halfway. And if there's no halfway, how can there be a final destination? If no one's watching this episode, it both exists and does not exist at the same time. This is an example of Berkeley's paradox. If you can't see something with your own eyes, it both exists and doesn't exist at the same time. Like that ball behind me. If no one sees it, does it exist at all? Some paradoxes are much simpler and don't drive you quite as nuts as the classics, but still make for good conversation when you're bored. Try out these mind benders. Don't go near the water till you learn how to swim. Answer truthfully to the following question. Will the next word you say be no? A girl goes into the past and kills her grandmother. Since her grandmother is dead, the girl was never born. If she were never born, she never killed her grandmother. What happens if you turn on your headlights at the speed of light? <laughs> and finally, the paradox of inquiry contends that if we don't know what we don't know, how do we know what to look for to learn it? Wait. Now that we've ruined your day, take some time to think about other paradoxes in life and put them in the comments so you can contribute to other people's misery. This is Kellum signing off. Don't you dare subscribe because I always lie about everything and that's the truth. <laughs>